a microclimate is an area that differs from the surrounding environment. They're a challenge for the gardener because a plant that grows well in one part of your yard might not grow well in another part of the yard that looks the same because there's maybe a different moisture level. If you have a wet microclimate, you might want to create a rain garden. You might want to put in a pebble fountain. You might want to do a rock garden. After looking at the conditions in my yard and considering my options, I decided I was going to make a rain garden. The first thing you have to do is you have to make a hole in your lawn. You want to dig down several inches, loosen up the clay. Most likely it will be clay that's underneath. Put it in a bucket, get it out of the way, and then you're going to mix it with a number of amendments. We're going to simulate my rain garden. Here's the hole that I dug. We're going to start by taking some of that native soil and putting it in the hole. You're basically refilling the hole you created. Okay, put in some of that native soil and you want to add some humus, some compost, some old rotted cedar bark mulch, any dry leaf or stuff. You just don't want to use grass trimmings. Then you need to do something to keep the weeds from growing in your rain garden. So you need to get some semi-permeable weed cloth, the kind that has holes in it to let the water go through. You need to secure the edges of the weed cloth so that it doesn't relocate in another place of the garden. You can use these garden stakes or you can use the plastic garden pegs or you can recycle those old hangers by cutting them off and they'll hold just as well. Just cut a little X so that the plant can stick through. After you've cut your weed cloth, it's time to put your plants in. Making sure to pack the soil around them. And then you mulch it with the river rock. You want to get it nicely rocked so that your plant can live happily ever after for its plant life. Once it starts living in your yard, this is the way it'll look. <laughs> Once you've identified a wet microclimate and have decided to do something about it and put in a rain garden, you need to start by digging up the topsoil, add in the soil and amendments, cover it with a weed cloth, then you put in the plants that you select that like to be in wet locations, mulch it with river rock, let mother nature do her thing to water it, and sit back and enjoy a garden that requires just a little bit of maintenance. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.